Hey guys, today we'll be talking about pleural reflection lines, okay? Still on the thorax anatomy. So, the question is describe the pleural reflection lines. Pleural reflection lines, okay? So, basically, you see on this um this re image here that we have here, we have some um some lines which are in yellow and some lines that are in pink, okay? Those are the lines of pleural reflection. Okay, so um, we see that the lungs along which the pleural changes direction as it passes from one wall of the pleural cavity to another are called the lines of pleural reflection. So the lines of pleural reflection pass from behind the sternoclavicular joints on each side to meet in the midline at the second coastal cartilage. Okay. So they pass to meet at the midline at the second coastal cartilage. I hope you guys are following up the story. Okay, so next, the left pleural arches laterally at the fourth coastal cartilage. The left pleural arches laterally at the fourth uh, coastal cartilage and descends lateral to the border of the sternum due to its lateral uh, displacement by the heart. Okay, so guys, this is the left pleural. You could see that at the fourth cartilage, it arches laterally, okay, away from the midline, okay. That's the story there. I would say that uh, the right pleural passes vertically downwards without arching, okay, and it reaches the sixth coastal cartilage and then crosses, okay. So let's let's see the right. I see that uh, the right pleural passes down without arching when it reaches the sixth coastal cartilage. I'd like you guys to know the number of the cartilages on this side. When it reaches the six coastal cartilages, it arches. Okay. So now let's see where it arches to. Okay. So it crosses this, the eighth uh, rib at the mid clavicular line. It crosses the twelfth rib at the lateral border of the erector spinal. It crosses the tenth rib in the mid axillary line. So let's confirm this eight rib. The pleural uh, crosses um, the eight rib at the what mid um, axillary line, mid clavicular line, sorry, okay, and the tenth rib at mid axillary line. So let's look at the tenth rib. This is the tenth rib, okay, downward, okay, but this is a mid axillary line, okay. So it crosses the eight rib at the mid clavicular line. Why it crosses the, the 10 rib at the mid axillary line. Then how about the 12 rib? It crosses the 12 rib at the lateral border of the erector spinal. Okay. So the 12 rib, you know that the pleura is to go and to the lateral side, so it's not shown, okay? But it's at the lateral border of the erector spinal. Okay. So guys, um, this is the anatomy of the lines of pleural uh reflection, okay lines of pleural reflection and these are the lines that the pleural changes direction as, as it passes from one wall of the pleural cavity to another okay are the lines of pleural reflection okay so i think this is enough for this lecture and see you guys in the next tutorial bye for now